Hey guys, how you doing? So, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install the SGA mod for the Switch or Badajnet. Obviously, it's formerly known as PV Tools. With that being said, let's jump on, on the desktop and show you what's going on. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is go on, on over to the SGA website. Um, obviously, you will, if you haven't done it already, create a new. You're going to need to create a new account. Um, obviously, you're going to need to obviously enter your details. And when asked, and obviously verify your email. Once you've done that, what you're going to need to do is come to the website, click on mods, and then click on FS22, and then dashnet slash PV mods. Obviously, in here you've got three different mods you can download. Obviously, you want this one just here, the SGA mod for the switcher 2.0.0.4. Okay, so we click on that. Now, on here, over the, here you should see a download button, what you want to do is click on that and it will just download, obviously depending on your internet it could be pretty quick, obviously mine is showing about a minute or so but while that's downloaded, what I'll just um, point out as well um, obviously for this um, version you'll also be able to download PV Wolf Creek and obviously the PV Uncharted Poppies edition um, so I'll run over it in a little while, but also you will need to make note of this code here for Wolf Creek because you'll need that to enter to get this stuff downloaded and you'll also need this one if you want the Uncharted map um, there's going to be at least two more maps added to this in the next couple of weeks, so this video um, obviously one is going to be Volcano Island, which it will be coming out if not already um, today, obviously it's the fifth of March today so hopefully that will be added as well and then on the 12th there will be NBC Acres added and it should have its own code as well um, right so that is now downloaded so let me move that across out of the way and go over to my mod folder uh, download folder I should say Oops, I'm running multiple screens here so it will pop up here then and everywhere so I've got download, so this is what you should have and what you want to do is, this is the easiest way I've found to do it is just double click, left click on it to open it and then go to setup, this one just here and double click on that do, 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 do. and hopefully it should work sometimes it takes a moment to kick in, there we go. So obviously this is going to pop up, just click on OK and this window will now pop up, which is good. So with this being said, um, the reason you're going to see this is because at the minute the program does not have a active license. Um, at some point Dashnet is hoping to get it sorted out, obviously until then this is going to be popping up. All you have to do is click on more information, obviously this is going to show, and then run anyway get rid of that because it did pop up. I'm not sure why that comes up, it's just one of those weird things. So obviously I don't need that in there for the minute, so just minimize that. So this is the window we are after, so what you just need to do is click on install and obviously that is going to pull that all the information you, it needs to install it. It takes a moment and there we go. Obviously this may pop up for you, so what you might find is that you're going to have to relink it. So just click on OK. And what you want to do is link it to your game folder where all your save games go. So obviously in my case, I can remember where it is. So this PC documents, and it's going to be my games farm sim 22. And just make sure you highlight that one folder. You don't have to do anything else. Then just click OK. There you go. It is now installed and connected to your um, Farming Simulator 22 game. So this is what you should now see pop up. And on here, what you can actually do is do a lot of different things. Really, you can actually run several maps with this um, really easily. Um, obviously, one of the big issues is obviously if you're running multiple maps, um, you've got them all set up on your desktop, for instance. You have to go into one go to your default folder, remove them, put it into this folder this simplifies it so much easier so what you're going to need to do 
is set up a, f a folder, okay? So let me move this across a sec. So just right click your mouse button, go to new. Obviously, I'm using Windows 11, so yours might look a bit different to this. Um, if I click into this, you'll probably see something more similar to this. All you have to do is click to new and create a folder and call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it PV Wolf Creek um, Mods. There you go. Something nice and simple. Something that you can understand easily. Now, obviously, what you're going to need to do with that is add it to one of these buttons. And that is so simple. All you do is click on one of the buttons, just like that, and you'll get this little screen pop up. All you then do is uh, left click and hold the mouse button, drag the folder into the SGA mod folder switcher. And what you'll see is it'll automatically link that folder to your game, basically. After this, you can actually change the button color if you wanted to, so you can maybe make it red, click OK. You can even change the text if you wanted to, I don't know, let's go with yellow for example. And obviously it gives you a little preview of what it looks like there. Once that's done, all you have to do then is click on, click here when finished. There you go. Your tab is now connected and set up. So to get the, the actual mods themselves, now obviously it's going to take a little while on the initial um, download because obviously you're going to download everything at the minute it's set to about I think it's 32 mods obviously I think more are going to be coming out later on today after this video is done so you may find that you have a few more obviously to, if you're doing it like a few weeks months in down the line it may be more than that but what I've already done is I've gone through and already downloaded all the map. I've also added one that will be definitely added and one you will definitely need is and that's going to be the limit breaker mod and you can actually find that on the SGA mo um, website under dash net if it's not in your folder. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy, select all them and copy them in or move them into that folder now to make life a little bit easier and we'll just get rid of that and obviously as it is going to be t take a little while I'm just going to delete a handful of these just so I can run through the process. So just delete that. Obviously, that is my. Obviously, I've got 28 there, so there's going to be at least mm, five to download. So obviously, make sure that it's selected, and then you've got the little green bar there. If you want to check, you can also look at the bar, bar down the bottom here, and it should show the path to your folder. And obviously, that is showing correct for me. So if you click on options. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. So this is where you want to enter that code that I mentioned previously for Wolf Creek. So if I drag this back over, it's kind of annoying actually that you can't tab through these easily. So let me just stretch that a little bit. So obviously as you can see here, we have PV Wolf Creek code is, and what you want to do is select just that last part, the QNE, ZZ, 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 whatever it is like that, and just basically copy that, and let me get rid of that now, and in this box here, just paste that code, just like that, and then click unlock code, and you'll get this little button pop up, and this is what's going to allow you to sync the folder, all the mods and that, all you have to do is then just click on that, it is a little bit tricky at times, but yeah, um, obviously, yes, we want to do that. So obviously, that is now going to run through the download process. Hopefully, because it's only a few small folders, that should shouldn't take too long. Obviously, this is done in real time. I'm not going to cut it or anything like that. So, what should happen? Obviously, that's going to first of all look at all the the mods in that folder and compare it against what's on obviously the server that it's being downloaded from. So anything that's missing it is going to download them. And as you see, there you go. There's the first couple already. So there's another couple more to go. There we go. And there we go. We've now got this. This is what you want to wait for. Obviously, this is only taking a, uh, like a moment or two um, to download because there's only a few. 
obviously first time when you're doing this it will take a little bit longer obviously once the it hits the map that is going to be the the biggest thing to download just give it a little bit of time guys yeah and wait until this pops up just click OK and you're sync complete as you can see right there so all you have to do then is close that off what I always do actually is just make sure is double click on that tab again that I've just set up and then you should just be able to click on your farm sim 22 game load that up and everything should be there so let me move this out of the way a sec I don't have any sound going. So what you could do is go into here first of all and there you go you can actually see all the mods there all ready for you to play. Obviously I do have that as well. Um, another way obviously you just go into your career. Obviously I do have a few already started and then just click across and there you go you have your wolf creek. So, and then, yep, see, you can see that everything is there. That is what you should be getting as of today. Um, obviously, the Limit Breaker is definitely one that should be getting added, this one here. Um, and obviously, that's going to break a lot of the different limits within the game, such as your production, your animals, um, missions, the limit to trees, stuff like that. So, I'll just make sure that that is in there, because a lot of people recently, since the release last week have had issues saying oh we'll get this warning come up this warning coming up make sure that's in your folder and you shouldn't get any warnings so obviously with that now being said that is how you basically download and install so i don't actually need to do anything else here so let me just click back in and quit out here so the last thing i want is just go through is obviously you can set up your own um special folder if you wanted to um for specific mods um, if you wanted to sync them, obviously you just make sure that's selected, go to your options again. This is kind of a bit of a pain that they don't overlap the top. And you can actually set it up here. So for instance, if I just create a quick folder, so Flaves, for instance. Yeah, just put that there. Um, let me grab uh, one of my other folders here. Um, so this is the McCain factory that I've done. This is actually the, the extra mods that I use. So if I just take a couple of them, for example, we'll copy that. Actually, no, we'll cut them into my favorites and paste them into there. So it's just a couple. What you can then do is obviously click on Setup Folder. Oops. Can I hear you? And obviously, I want to go to my PC desktop. And I want to find this favorites folder, which is right there. So just click on that and do OK. So that's going to link it up, up. And all you have to do is click on copy your favorites to active folder. And, and then OK. Done. So what we should now have is obviously the 33 uh, mods that were in there originally. Plus obviously those three that I've just synced. So yeah, there you go. So you got 36 items all set up, and there's obviously the three that I've just synced from the favorite folder. So obviously that will work for you guys. Um, obviously this will also work for any map, okay? Um, obviously with this one, let me bring this back up a minute. If you wanted to, this is kind of annoying. Let me move that off the screen in a second. Obviously if you want the Uncharted, you've got it already. Um, maybe a previous version, what I would just do is make sure to copy that and paste that into that there as well, then unlock and also you get your button there as well, you can do exactly the same thing again um, where you can set up a folder, do all that and then click on that and you'll know, sync all everything down um, obviously you're going to have, obviously like I said meant or mentioned uh, Volcano Island added to this as well as NBC AKs at some point obviously with that being said just want to say obviously if you do have any issues contact us on the SGA website I will put a link obviously down below to the site where you can actually go to um, but there is a lot of other things obviously on this website that you can check out obviously the support um, 
obviously other people obviously got mods obviously got some fs19 ones there you do have a, a lot of fs22 stuff there okay best way to select them really is obviously you got 22 there mods and then you're 19 if you want a specific um modder so if, so if you want dajnet you got it there you got jd fan who basically converted the um uncharted map obviously he's sorting all that out for dajnet well, obviously all these guys, including myself there, have some mods. You can see um, exactly what we've got up there already. Um, I would recommend going through, grabbing a few if you wanted to. Obviously, I'd definitely recommend getting the McCain factory. Obviously, from what I understand, it's going to be added to the, the downloads anyway. But yeah, obviously have fun guys. And obviously if you do have any issues, just come over here, click on the support. And for example, if you were to... Open a new ticket, and you are having issues with mod folder switcher. Um, just obviously do it to obviously Dashnet. Obviously, I will see it because I am um, one of the admin team on here, and just fill in the information. Obviously, you don't really need to worry about that. Obviously, if you're having if you've got an issue with the game itself, add your log file. Just pop it into the attached files there. Obviously, what you'd need to do is click in here, go to your documents, my games. Um, FS22, then down the bottom here is obviously your log. Just make sure to attach that, and obviously, it will help us deal with you a lot faster, okay, guys? With that being said, I'm going to end it there. But obviously, that is the mod for the switcher by Dajnet. Um, obviously, it is formerly known as PV Tools, so I definitely recommend anybody who likes playing on multiple different maps to get it, download it, install it, and then set up each of these buttons for a different map and keep your issues sorted out okay so for now i will end it there uh, have a good day guys and i'll see you in the next one